Hi folks, I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine. What would a smart manufacturer do to make a woodworking drill press truly better? Well, the folks at Nova Technitool have found all sorts of ways to break the mold in their all-new Nova 18-inch Voyager drill press. It's like no other drill press on the market. In addition to a large cast iron table and a full six inches of quill travel, this Voyager drill press is unlike any other woodworking drill press I've used with features I think we woodworkers are going to appreciate. In this short video, I'm going to introduce you to three of my favorites. At the heart of Voyager, Nova provides a digital variable reluctance motor. And if you're familiar with Nova's DVR wood lathes, this is the same power system. It uses a programmable onboard computer to control the motor stator in every regard on, off, forward and reverse, speed settings, torque management, and much, much more. So one big difference, this machine has no pulley case. That's because this drill press has true electronic direct drive variable speed. So what are the benefits? Well, unlike typical drill presses like this, there's no belts to get your hands dirty or pinch your fingers. You never have to tension the motor to keep these belts tight. And there's no inefficient power transfer because of these belts. With DVR technology, belt and pulley systems like this are obsolete. To set the speed you want, just turn on the machine and you can set this 5 8 inch capacity chuck all the way from a knuckle dragging 50 RPMs up to 5,500 RPMs or just about anywhere in between and all without belts or pulleys. Under power, the one and three quarter horsepower DVR motor is quiet and smooth running. And even better, the computer is constantly monitoring the speed of the motor. So when you put the motor under load in a drilling situation, the computer will compensate by increasing the torque of the motor to maintain the RPM that you want. So you're not going to stall this machine. So direct drive variable speed is the first great feature, and here's the second. Voyager knows the kinds of bits we use, the materials we're drilling into, and the best speed to spin those bits. Say you want to drill a hole into a piece of poplar like this with a two inch Forstner bit. What's the best speed to choose? Well, on a typical drill press, we have to look it up on a speed chart, shuffle the belts and the pulleys to that speed range, and then hope we've picked the best speed for the job. But on Voyager, there's no need to guess. To set drilling speed, just select the speed chart icon from Voyager's picture menu and then choose one of 12 bit options. There's twist bit, brad point, bullet pilot point, Forstner bit, glass and tile bit, hole saw, spade bit, spade bit with spurs, countersink, shear cut countersink, power bore bits, and circle cutters. Now since I'm using a Forstner bit, I'll select that icon, and then we're prompted with the screen asking how large a diameter of bit we're using. Well, I'm going to use a two inch bit, so I'll toggle to that selection and select it. And then Voyager asks, are we drilling into softwood or hardwood? Well, poplar's a hardwood, so I'll make that selection, and it's suggesting a bit speed of 250 RPMs. I'll click on that and confirm it. Now returning to the main CPU screen, Voyager has my information saved. And when I turn the machine on, I'm drilling at the optimal speed for a two inch Forstner bit into Poplar. You never have to guess. Now here's my third favorite feature. Voyager comes with electronic depth stop control. Now we all drill stop depth holes from time to time for mortises, counter bores, cup hinges, and that sort of thing. And the process involves shifting a pair of stop nuts on this threaded rod so they stop the quill travel at some point. But it's kind of a hassle to set this up, and if these stop nuts aren't tight against one another, they can actually shift and change your depth setting. Well, Voyager comes with this manual depth stop system, just like other drill presses, if you'd prefer to do it manually, but it's really an unnecessary feature because you can set depth stop using the computer, and here's how. 
Just toggle over to the user set depth icon on the screen and select it and then tell the computer how deep you want to drill a hole. I'm going to drill my hole three quarters of an inch deep and you can change this drilling depth in 500 inch increments. But my Forstner bit has saw teeth on it so I'm going to count for the length of those saw teeth and drill mine to 0 0.90 inches instead and save that setting. Now coming back out to this main menu, Voyager is ready to drill the whole depth I want using a 2 inch Forstner bit into hardwood at 250 RPM. Now there's one last thing you can tell the computer. It knows how deep to drill the hole, but it doesn't know where to start the hole. But that's easy to set as well. Just lower the bit until it touches the wood and zero it out on the home screen. Now the electronic depth stop is ready to go. And now I'm ready to drill my hole. And even this is foolproof because the computer is going to tell me when I'm getting close by beeping. Do you hear it? The closer I get to my final hole depth, the faster it's going to beep. And when I hit my final hole depth, the machine shuts off. That way I can never under drill or over drill. The hole depth is going to be accurate every time. Electronic direct drive variable speed, built-in bit speed settings, and computer controlled depth stops are just three of the cool new features of Nova's new 18-inch Voyager drill press, and there are many more features than that. It's truly a drill press for the 21st century and a big step forward among all other woodworking drill press competition. Nova tells us that it will be available in fall 2016 at a street price of $1,499.99. You can learn more about its smart motor technology by visiting dvrsmartmotor.com. Thanks for watching.